Hey gang, I got something a little different today. Basically, it's not going to be a, tor a tutorial. It's OBD1, LT1 PCM, flashing, or it, I'm not going to call it tuning, but I'm new to Tuner Pro, so I'm going to do a... Um, I lost my laptop that runs TunerCat OBD1. And... Tuner Pro, actually, I've never used, a, a couple times I've used it now, and it works really, really well, and I won't do a tutorial on how to get it, where to get it. Just look it up. Uh, I recommend it. Um, I think there is um, a license fee. You get the, for LT1, you get the EE, -E, the Echo Echo, the EE. -E. Now, what I'll, all I'm going to do today is flash. An existing tune that I have for Alex Garcia's 95 Impala SS. That's all I'm going to do. And it's worked before. Hopefully it's going to work again. Of course, there's the PCM. And you need cables. So, what do I do? Well, I try to be organized. It's not easy, right? When you got a garage, you know that. <laughs> All of my cables I keep in one spot. So, these are my OBD1 cables. I can't remember if I got them from Spear Tech or if I got them from um, oh, Spear Tech or the Roadrunner stuff. Uh, whoever that company is. They're still around. So check out, check out online. Just check Roadrunner and you'll get Moats. That's it. Craig Moats. Craig Moats. All right, so I always use a battery that's on a charger. Always. You can do this plugged in through your car, your, uh, but I'm doing a bench system. You can do it certainly just taking the OBD end, plugging it directly into your car. If you got the OBD one, this is a dual, and it has, if you have that, uh, so like OBD one and a half, or right before, like the 95 Camaros have that. But I plug it in to my bench force, and then you never know what cable it's going to be. So I plug that into the bench force. And then this gets its power from a battery. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. And I make sure, well, let's do this, not this battery. Let's do this battery here. And this is the typical compact work area that we all have. One day I'll have a bigger shop and I'll have a dedicated spot for um, tuning. Old junkyard computer. I just got it out of the box. Certainly needs a cleaning, but Interesting. There we go. Thought it wasn't going to fit, but it did. I get this from EFI Connection. I, you can make your own desktop. I'm not going to go into that. But, uh, okay. So, here is Flash. 
It's a flash hack that I'm going to open up. I'll close. Uh, uh, I'll close my Jet OBD2. I'll close everything. I'll close my HP tuners. I'll close my QuickBooks. It'll help. Let's load that bin. Okay. So, will it re will it flash? Okay, let's turn the key on to this. And we'll find out. I turned the switch on here for key on. I don't, and then I don't initially just here. Okay, so now we're gonna do right calibration and see what she does. I really like this uh, software because it actually is, there's a recovery function on it. I can't explain that right now because I only understood it when I read it. I don't understand it now and able to regurgitate. But right now it's writing the EEPROM on the transmission side. I, I just love seeing the progress. Okay, I know you can read that screen. It's now done with the transmission side. It's reading, the, oh, it's flashing the engine side. And flash complete. All right, so how do I know that that even flashed successfully? Because I don't have the car here with me. I'm going to at least you know, connect to the computer and see if, you know, the, uh, if it actually works. So where is connect? Right there. See if it will connect. Okay, it's connected. Shows some malfunction trouble codes on this that are active. The mass flow detector, number 43, map sensor low. Of course, there's no sensors connected to this computer, so it will have things like that. Anyway, this computer is flashed. So check this out. I mean, get yourself here. Let me disconnect. Really, so there's TunerCat for OBD1, and there's Flash Hack, and there's EE Hack. So check them out. I really, really like Flash Hack and EE Hack. This is for OBD1. My computer died that had Data Master. I, I really liked Data Master because it was all on one screen, showed you anything you wanted to, condensed in a really graphical math method, but they don't support Data Master anymore. My license copy is long gone and dead. But I'm going to be an EE hack connoisseur in the future. And whatever I learn about it, I'll try to let you know what I learned. I'm not going to try to be able to teach you on it, but uh, that's it in a nutshell. Carl Elwine, LN Engines. Take care.